sound. Make them regret every foot they set upon our soil. Alright, not sure why that popped up as soon as I logged in today. Sound defense. Horde forces are attacking tear guard sound. Okay then, uh, we did get a talent point we need to look at spending here. Uh, Scent of Blood. Act activating Bestial Wrath grants two charges of barbed shot. Bestial Wrath is a 1.5 minute cooldown. Why one with the pack, Wild Call has a 20% increased chance to reset the cooldown of Barbed Shot. Or we can grab Kamira Shot, which would be another button to press. Two-headed shot that hits your primary target and another nearby target. Uh, that could be some decent cleave. Maybe we go with Chimera Shot. I don't think I want it over there though. Let's uh, let's do something like that with it. I think that's okay. It is on a 10 second cooldown it looks like, so... Another button for us to hit every now and then. We got some robes we don't need. Whoops. Alright. Do I really need arcane shot at all? Do I really need Arcane Shot at all? Let's move Arcane Shot on down to F2 for now. I need a target. I should just be popping Bestial Wrath on cooldown. There's really not a good reason not to. Alright, we need to be opening these webbed lumberjacks up and freeing them, I hope. Good. I don't have a target. Just trying to take on the eggs, actually, but... Spider came with a couple of eggs. Did these spiders come out of those eggs? The little spiderlings? Yes, they probably did. I need a target. I don't have a target. You don't have a target. That is true. Probably need to turn error speech off soon. Our bird is dead. He's a little bit weak, I guess. Uh, then again, he's probably not exactly built to tank, and that's kind of what he's been doing for us. Considering that, uh, he's doing pretty good. Also, when we revive him, I guess he just starts at full health, which is basically cheats and hacks, compared to classic at least. 
And you, you can cast Revive Pet so quickly that it's really of little consequence when he does go down. I mean, multi-shot doesn't really do a lot of damage even to these little weak guys. It's almost still worth just single targeting them. Yep. We need to... We need to turn that off. Uh, let's see, we have all of our eggs, we have all of our spiders, we have all of our bears. We need one more lumberjack freed. And then I guess we need to grab this quest that's right over here. The witch's pet. I've seen her. The witch. Every once in a while she comes down to the cave, checking on her pet. I've never seen a spider so large. She spreads her spell, cursing all of the animals in these woods to follow her command and attack us. The broodmother laid all of these eggs, and they're hatching into more possessed beasts. Take her out, and perhaps the infestation will stop. Kill the moss fang matriarch. Oh, she's right here. Okay, I thought we'd have to go exploring this cave, but no, she's just kind of standing in a hollow. It's totally fine. Uh, these ads are going to suck. Oh, we're not pulling her by killing these. That's a little weird, but I'm not going to argue. Can we even go back here? Okay. That one was crossing the line, apparently. Let's get out of that. Finish up these ads first. And then we'll go back on the spider. Probably just a good idea not to stand in the poison. We could avoid the venom wave altogether by paying attention. With the spider matriarch defeated, the flow of cursed spiders should slow, if not completely stop. Yes, but will it? Will it really? I do have to remember that we can mount up. Which of the woods? A, a witch? I, uh, I would love to help you. Truly, I would, but I must report to my father. Why don't you go stop the witch yourself? For a brave adventurer like you, a witch should be no problem at all. I'm sure my father would reward you greatly. I don't know, your father seems like kind of a jerk. 
see to your affairs. He'd probably just tell us that there was no witch and that we were making the entire thing up. Seems to be his style. Glad she's sitting on her porch. Ah, so Maynard sends his goons to solve his problems, as he always does. Well, come, goon. I will take care of you as I did the others. We are kind of a goon. I mean, she's got us pegged. We'll, we'll do anything for anybody. We won't even pay attention to the results of it or the possibly terrible consequences. If someone tells us to go do something, we will do it for experience and gold. Alright, we'll just fight this guy and then we will turn these in. It's interesting that the witch was the foreman's wife, or whatever his role is, the manager. I wonder if he even knows that she was out here or what the story is going to be there. Dreadful state of affairs, isn't it? My son told me about the witch. I have come up here to take care of her. If you want something done right, you need to do it yourself. Oh, so now he wants to get out from behind his desk. Maynard studies the locket. That ungrateful woman. The proud Moors will See, the guy is still a jerk. Alright, level 26. I, what, what is he saying here? I wasn't always the president of a successful lumber company, you know. I came from nothing. I started this business to support my wife and our family. My work is my life. Forget Petuya. Forget Benjamin. This is my legacy. For her to turn to witchcraft to extract revenge against me. I don't care that she's dead. One fewer person to get in my way. Wait, did I miss something? Did that quest, uh, what did that quest chain into exactly? That's the wanted poster. 
Um, did I screw something up? Or was that really just not supposed to continue chaining into anything? We can grab a quest to go into Drustvar. I guess. Um, that was a little weird. I just naturally started following the next quest track, assuming it would be any subsequent quest for that chain, but as it turns out, that was a little weird. Even when the narratives are good in the quest chains, like where you start to get interested in them, they still are incredibly disjointed and apparently just prone to end quite suddenly. You got the coin? That's how you got the bargains. All right, there was the Griffin contract. Uh, let's see. Chasing the leader. The locals in the League have been working together to reclaim the relics in this here cave up the hill. But it seems that we've angered the previous residents. I think the Marines can keep the expedition safe for now. But I don't know how long they can keep it up. We need your help before things go south. Find Hilde, Hilde Firebreaker, the leader of our expedition. She ran back into the cave for something or another. And the ruins fought back. Something set off a trap in the cave, and then the ruins themselves came to life. I expect that most of our lads still in that cave aren't in fighting form. Could you clear out some of the living ruins to help them escape? Uh, it's a side quest, obviously, but sounds interesting, so we'll see. Mind attack. And then this guy, Recruit Brutus. A giant one of those stone creatures killed quite a few marines while we were trying to evacuate the cave. It didn't chase us too far, but ignoring it outright is too big of a risk. It needs to fall. Uh, yeah, we can get some good upgrades Storm's coming. from that. In the waters. So yeah, they're all going to be like right up here. Let's just run up here and do them. So some of them might be underground and some of them might be up top. Let's check out what's going on under here because it seems like we have a couple more quests to pick up. Which is uh, kind of crazy because, you know, we're already on three quests. But hey, what's, what's three or four more? Oh, hello there. Looks like two different quest givers, so yeah, maybe three, four quests here. Let's see what's going on. You're lucky I can't kick any higher, don't deny it. You set off the trap. I'm a druid, not a priest. The remains of the previous trespassers also arose when we set off the main trap. Cranklefuse here has been demanding that I help them, and while I can't say I'm too familiar with turning the undead, I believe I have found a solution. I modified my staff to remove their curse. Take it and see if you can't help them. Alright. Birch and I are helping out the expedition with field studies. I'm not much of a fighter, but I can't make another mistake. They might demote me. Could you recover some of the relics we packed up in boxes? Okay. And then we have to click on these guys? Or wait, are we just... Hmm, okay, let's see. 
Uh, we've been turned into a skeleton ourselves. Interestingly enough. Oh, these guys are going to come fight for us. Glad this item does not have a cooldown. Kinda hoping this isn't any kind of an escort quest. Okay, this is Hilda. Oh, she's a Dark Iron. I came here to try and reclaim as many relics as possible. Sneaking in was easy, but I'm worried about things noticing me while I pack up. Mind watching me back while I get the relics stored in a safe place in my bag. Okay, sure, fine. So they're gonna spawn waves at us? Yeah. And they're not gonna count towards the quest that we have for these guys either. How's it going back there? This collection of bones must be courtesy of Birch, given the teeth marks on them. <laughs> it's the worgen. Well, get out of the crackling blue stuff. Finally reached the actual relics. Now that all the additions are out of the way, shouldn't be too long now. Can I like pull a guy we actually need real fast too? Can we do that while we do this? This guy's a little beefy, and I, I'm not really 100% sure on why. Uh, let's go ahead and get our pet back out. I feel like some of the mob balancing has been a little weird. Maybe because of gear and item level, I, I don't know. Hmm. It's just unexpected when suddenly an enemy is tuned that way. Everything worth our attention should be stored in my bag. Many thanks. I can make my own way out. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm glad because I have no desire to escort you anywhere. Seems like we have to make our way up here to get to this objective. These living artifacts, uh, they must spawn uh, for some reason. Oh look, speaking of spawning.
Alright, we need this guy. Seems like he's already fighting an NPC over there. Thank you, Hunter. I'll speak with you somewhere safer, okay? He'll Something to report. Officer Redfin will speak with us somewhere safer. Perfect. We need one more crate, and... Oh, I see one down there. Okay, let's just jump down and hope that our pet doesn't do anything too stupid. In opening, I'll race you out. Bet you can't catch me even if you are part dog. Wait, I'm not a dog. I'm surprised you can even run with those stubby legs of yours. I was certain you would just roll down any general incline. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Racist comments in the world of Warcraft. Get cracking. Uh, let's take the hands. Don't get your ballast Otherwise known as gloves, because if they were actual hands in there, that'd be a little creepy. There we go. And that's all there is to that, I guess. Now we run over to the Norrington Festival and see what that's all about. Let's just head over there really fast and see exactly what's going on. Maybe it'll get the rest of this level and we'll be level 27. Uh, other than that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the Drustvar quest that has opened up. Oh, one of you guys let me know that I, I guess the change that they made, and I've been kind of figuring this out, is that they changed BFA leveling and I'm not sure if it's just when you do the new player path through Exile's Reach. Oh, look at that. We leveled from Discovering. Or if they changed it for everybody because now the levels are, or the the areas are level gated. So you have to do Tear Guard Sound first, apparently. Um, and then apparently next we go to Drustvar and then Stormsong Valley. It's really hard to understand the rationale for them to gate them. Except like for a new player, maybe it's less complicated. But listen to this. The way you gain experience, um, you're never really gonna, you're probably not even gonna get into uh, Stormsong. So we'll see if we hit level 50, because I have a feeling that we're gonna hit level 50 in Drustvar. Um, which means that if you're leveling like that, and you have to go in order, you might never see any of Stormsong Valley, which is probably a any huge waste. Uh, okay, these guys are just going to have some more quests for us, so yet Keep another on, on. Uh, another side quest hub. We're going to take this on because why not, as long as it seems like it's not silly or you know, as long as it's semi-interesting, we will take a look at it. But yeah, we'll do these and then we'll eventually head to Drustvar. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll eventually figure out, maybe some of these quests will solve for our missing story chapters here we'll see all right guys we're gonna take a break here let me know what you think and as always i really appreciate the continued support on the series having a lot of fun so i hope you guys are too take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other and we'll see you back here in shadowlands leveling real soon